recent news, the gig worker and blogger Aphid Cart has seemingly gone missing. Whatever shall we do? Bro, I'm literally just right here. What are you guys talking about? What are you guys all worried? It's just been one month. How's it going shoppers? Today we're gonna to be doing some Walmart Spark and maybe some Instacart. It is a Sunday and we're working at probably one of the best times on a Sunday. So I'm hoping that we actually get some orders today. Lately, I've been pretty disappointed with like our 40, $50 days. So I'm hoping to at least make that a lot faster today or maybe make a little bit more. So we're starting things off with a $20 Walmart Spark order, 20 items, and I think it's only like two miles. So very simple, let's go get it done and I'll show you guys what the order looks like in just a little. All right, so sorry about uh, the odd coloring on those last few shots. I accidentally had the wrong settings going on on my camera. I was shooting in manual, so everything was like super messed up. But we're getting the hang of things again. We're trying to. Almost gets rear-ended immediately. Okay, just one of those things where when there's a big SUV or truck that parks right next to you, people just cannot see you pulling out. So it's unfortunate for everyone. That's why I go slow in the parking lot. Anyways, five minute drive. Pretty happy with that for 20 bucks. I will say the store is really busy though. So there's that, but I'm happy to be making some money and I'll see you guys at the drop off. All right guys, so I was sitting at Walmart for probably about 30 minutes and I ended up getting a $45 order on Instacart at a store about 10 minutes away. So it must be a regular because there's no reason I should have been able to accept it, not being in the bubble and all that, but uh, I got it. So it is 50 items and like I was saying, it is a Sunday. So the store is gonna be crazy and it's gonna be stressful, but at least it's only one customer. Also a bunch of produce, so a lot of the stuff I'm gonna get all in one area. So that should kinda help speed things up. So I'll see you guys with a cart full of stuff. Ooh, I, what in the world? The stop sign's, the stop sign's moving. Do you guys see that? I thought the stop sign was actually flying over, but it's on a spring. I'll see you guys at the store. All right, so we have a 10 minute drive ahead of us. It took us about 45 minutes to shop, which I'm pretty impressed, honestly, because the store is packed. I did have a few like weird things happen. I think the only thing that's really worth mentioning is what was going on with the, the asparagus at our store. Basically, my customer wanted two bunches, but it also needed to be weighed, even though it's already in like a pound pack, basically. So whenever I went to go weigh it, it was like, you're trying to add way too much. Like you're spending more than the customer was expecting. And that's because the app had a like incorrect weights for the asparagus. So they suggested to grab uh, 0.15 pounds of asparagus. Oops, camera's moving. So the app suggested 0.15 pounds of asparagus for two bunches and they're like clearly wrapped in pound increments already so i had to get a little creative i couldn't even make a proper replacement because it would keep saying that hey like you're spending too much so i had to refund that and then add a whole new item and enter it in manually and i don't know i let my customer know what was going on so they don't think i was doing like some shady stuff but got it figured out and uh, this definitely is an old regular of mine, so I'm pretty happy about this. And this is gonna be our last order. So after this, I'm gonna go back into that busy store and go get some uh, food for myself so I can cook some nice dinner today. But overall, it's a super beautiful day and I'm really happy to be out. And I think $65 is much better than what we've been doing in the past, especially for how long I've actually worked. All right, so unfortunately, there's a gate in the past, I'm pretty sure they gave me the gate code 
like on the app, but I don't see it today. So that's unfortunate. So there's also no cell service here. So I'm kind of just waiting for someone to drive by and I'm going to sneak in with them. But uh, yeah, this is a bad combo. No cell service and no gate code equals no groceries, question mark. Bro, I'm not even gonna lie. I just guessed a random code and got in. I waited for about five minutes. No one was coming by. So I had to get creative there because I have groceries melting in my back seat currently. Not really because we had zero frozen items, but I want to get home. So I wasn't gonna wait that long for someone. Just so you guys know, just try like the year you're in. And for the most part, someone has made that their gate code. So just uh, the more you know. Well, that's basically it. Welcome to a part-time day in the life of a gig worker. We did Spark and Instacart. We made $65 in about three hours, and I consider that a win. Make sure you guys go ahead, hit that subscribe button down below. We're getting really close to 10,000 subs, and I am super excited for that. I'm gonna keep trying to upload more and more. I know I've been pretty bad at it lately, but it is what it is. I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one.